by the wheel. Take me to Denver Avenue. You got it. Hurry this shit up. I'd love to, but not right now. Another time? All right, NB, if that's how you're playing it. We're gonna hang real soon, though. Sorry, man, this is the close I can get you. Stop! Oh, table for one? We got a beautiful bacala salad. I'm here for, for someone. Food. I'm here for Ray. Oh, Ray, why did you say so? Ray's a beautiful man, you know what I mean? Uh, he's in the back. Thanks. Hey, Nikki! Ha <laughs> ha! How you doing, kid? Fine. Ah, hey! <laughs> that Mick bastard friend of yours says you're okay. Good. That you're reliable. Yep. But can I trust you? Hmm? Why go through all this? Why stick your neck out? Why do all this work? Because I need the money. And because I can't do anything else. And because I'm good at it. Sure. And because I'm trying to find someone. Okay, maybe we can help. See how we do. So anyways, I got this friend. Only the friend ain't my friend no more because he ain't getting me the videos. Okay. Seems this guy does not respect the waste management business. Lives over in a project on Galveston near you. Name is Teddy Benavidez. Do what you gotta do. Somebody gets burnt, so be it. Fine. And you'll pay. Hey, you're kidding, I'll pay double. Good. But, you mess up, bad things are gonna happen. Thing. We'll be there in no time. Thank you very much. It's fucking difficult to chain smoke these days. You know what apartment Teddy Benavides is in? No, sir. I don't know no Teddies. You sure about that? You want the last thing to come out of your mouth to be a lie? Shit, man. He's up on the top floor, apartment 151K. You have to walk the last few floors. Elevator don't go up there. They're fixing it up. I'll be back for you. Take cover! This is about to be over. Hey, man, who are you? What are you doing here? I think he's moving in, man. Yo, you moving in? If he's moving in, where's his stuff? Give me some cover! <laughs> you want to get shot? Get down! Ah! Fuck! Too slow, my mouth! Uh.
Brucey, man, I feel like seeing a show. Wanna come? That's a plan, man. Come get me in the next hour. Let's do this, Brucey. Wait for me. No jail made me grow up fast, my man. Oh yeah, word, word, word. What's the rush, man? To Sundance Street, please. Nobody knows this city better than me. This is it, my compadre. We're here. How's it going? Good. Got a little business opportunity I need your help with. Come and see me at my mom's house. This is the back entry. We need a whip, homie. Okay, then. Here the we thing go. is, Nico, there's something you don't understand about me, bro. Definitely true. I, I know it all seems straightforward. What you see is what you get, okay? No, trust me. It seems pretty weird. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ricky Gervais. Hi. How are you doing? Cheers. Thanks. I have been known to have a go at fat people. But the truth is, I'm a bit overweight myself. No shit. <laughs> Someone shouted, no shit. Could be that. <laughs> 40 years build-up. I actually had to have a medical for this tour. And I've had medicals before for TV work. And I just check your pulse and go, you're fine. But I went along to the doctor and he said, uh, oh, it's a bit more thorough than usual. You know, it's a big tour. We need a urine sample. I've never had to do that before, so... Uh, you know, I went to the toilet, filled up this little bottle he gave me, good as gold, gave it back to him. He went, oh, can you strip down to your boxer shorts? I thought, this is thorough. So I stripped down to my boxer shorts. Oh, for f... The one day I wear white boxer shorts. Big wet patch from the <laughs> wheel. Well, why didn't he warn me? Why didn't he say, be careful, I'll be checking for stains in a minute? Do you know what I... So embarrassing, there's nothing I could do. Ah... Uh, I told my friend, and my friend went, you should have gone commando. Well, that would have been less embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> so now I strip down to my box of shorts, and I go, oh, God, I've wet myself. What can I do? I know. <laughs> go commando. Do commandos not wear pants? <laughs> Why is it called going commando? They must wear pants. Are there any commandos in, do you whip? Why are you not wearing pants? <laughs> what do you mean, because we're commandos? They're going to see that. Look at this camouflage. Put a little... Well, now it's getting bigger. Why is it getting bigger? Look, there's barbed wire up there. You're going to lose it. Pop it away. Go, commando. But I am a bit overweight. I never worried about that before I was famous. And I'm not more vain now. It's that you read about yourself. And the papers... They need an adjective. They can't just say Ricky Gervais comedian. They say things like Ricky Gervais, tubby comedian. Why well, bring that into it? Ricky Gervais, rotund comedian. Rotund? That sounds like a giant fucking wombat. I'm not rotund. One called me a chubby funster. That's a gay porn name. I was jogging once, listening to some sounds on my MP3 player. Oh, yeah, looking good. Paparazzi got me. Full page in the paper the next day, with a headline, I Podge. <laughs> Cheeky bastards. Thanks very much. Good night. Give me a lift home, bro. Oh, 
Эй, окей, hey, okay. нет проблем. Great, thanks. Yo! Don't play with the windows. Oh, thank you. How do you bet on the cocktails? That was fucking fun! Did you see how those women were looking at me, man? No, they were hellcat. Vain, <laughs> drug addled, full of plastic. Oh, man, shut up. Just shut up. Why are you always so negative, bro? Winners are never negative. I'm a positive person. I'm the best. Oh God, I'm unstoppable. So I'm genetically different, man. That's my vibe, and I'm nice sticking to it. I fucking love you, man. Here we are. It's a wrap. Thanks. I'm glad you came back. Have fun, bro. I'm afraid you'll be getting the scraps off my cable. Jacob, it's me, Nico. I got some free time. You want to go to a show? Okay, man. Pick me up in about an hour. Cool, Jacob. I'll be there in a bit.
Cancer patients or nuclear warheads disappear. One man even asked me, can you make my masculinity disappear? But I am here to entertain you, not your body. Curious fantasies. I will now make my assistant float. I will defeat gravity. I will be the master of Isaac Newton! Now, arise! 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 Yes, there, there! Higher, higher, lower, higher, lower! Ah, yes, I can make this filthy woman fall under my dominion. Oh, arise, yes. Suck, Eat shit. <laughs> oh, oh, Laurel, Laurel. Oh, 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 you're a quadriplegic. Uh, oh, don't worry, everybody. Uh, she's probably only a paraplegic. Now let's hear it for Miss Bluesy St. John. Welcome. Welcome to Mama's Little Show. Yeah. Yeah, play it, Al. Play it. Al's a fine piano player. Pre-recorded because his union got a little mouthy and greedy, so we sing to his CD now. But I still feel like he's here in spirit. I have a little song I want to share with you. It's about something that's happened to us all. No, no, I'm not talking about getting sandwiched by two Lebanese train porters in the caboose. No, I'm talking about losing your baby. You know, they get picked up by a stranger on the way to go to school. And then you grab a bottle of gin down from the dusty cupboard where you put it. And you wake up in the sterile belly of a spaceship. And a man comes over and looks like your father. And you realize that day your dad disappeared. He didn't leave your mom for the fat bitch at the gas station. He was abducted. And your captors put you down in a farm field laid out night somewhere in Iowa. And they painted patterns in the corn. And the crickets are singing. And the cows baying in the distance. And your backside hurts something fierce from the probing. Woo! And the Holy Ghost is there too. Man, the Lord has a ghost. And there's a girl on a swing set, and you go push her off the swing. And you know what? We're all that little girl sometimes. Sometimes life pushes you off the swing, or makes you a little girl, even when you're a little boy. Well, that's all I've got time for tonight. I love you all. Thank you so much. Good night. Miss Bluesy Saint John.
no bread I want. Mind if I break? That's a real shame, Rasta. Next time, let's finish up. Jacob, I delivered the stuff, man. Thanks, Nico. And I'll be real happy in a star. We give you more work if you want more work.
Tom Lompoc and Bohan and Dr. Rio. I'll check it out. Thank you, cousin! You saved my life! We should get out of here! There's a car! Take me home, cousin! There are cycles, cousin. You must lose a little to win a lot. Come on, my guns were not good. Bro, we got that man knew Dimitri. He was trying to make me give you up to him. I would never... Of course you would not. Dimitri has taken this too far. He wants you dead. Bohan is not safe. I I I'm going to get us a place in our country. Are you okay? I'm used to taking these beatings, Nico. I almost expect it now. Wherever I go, there are people who want to kill me. Men who will kidnap me. I'll never marry Mallory. I won't be able to sleep with another college girl. There is a knife hanging over me. A clock is ticking. Man, this is out of control. I know. What are we going to do? I don't know. We're going to die. I don't want to die, man. Not like this. How would you like to die? Having a threesome on my 100th birthday? I don't fucking know. I'm scared, you cold bastard. What are we going to do? I'm not cold. You're cold. All you care about is revenge and getting your own way. And all you care about is money and gambling it away on the internet. Whoa! Isn't America great? I get to sit in front of a computer and play Mr. Rich Man and get into debt with crooks. Okay, I messed up. I know I did. I thought things would be different. I, I don't understand this place so good. Oh, man, what are we going to do? Stop sitting in front of the computer gambling our money. Stop uh, getting into illegal card games. Stop spending all our money. Yes. Thank you. And stop thinking about the Russians. Men... We just need to disappear as far as they're concerned. Disappear! Okay, okay. But I want Florian and Darko. I need to know what happened. Give me that. Fine, but leave the Russians alone. I was not the one gambling in their private club. I didn't know! I give a guy a break! Okay! Okay. Okay. I'm going to clean up. I have a nasty feeling I had a bit of an accident back oh. there. And Nico. What? Thanks.
Bryce and Bohan. Elizabeth has doing a bid. I think she might have killed Manny. Really? Good thing you haven't been hanging around with them too much. This shit is fucked up. I'm sorry for getting you involved. Don't worry about it. You've got enough on your plate looking after Roman. See you soon. Hey, Pecky. You want to go bowling? All right, Nico. We'll go bowling. How about you pick me up in the next hour? See you in a bit, Pecky. Excuse me. Excuse me. Por favor. Let me through, please. Where you want to go, Hefe? Nobody knows this city better than me. Thanks a lot. No puedes morir. No tengo seguro. What's up, man? So, uh, we're gonna need some wheels. Eat me. Where you wanna go? Go, oh, boy. How's it going? Better than What's me? happening with you? This and that, you know. Trying to make ends meet. Well, sometimes we're trying to keep our you heads above the water, other days. times we're trying Sooner to drown day. ourselves in it. Good you feel that way? You ever feel that need to obliterate your... bored of bowling anyway. I was thinking about shooting the pins down at one point. Take me back to the house. We're going... Okay, here we are, bucko. Great, thanks. Welcome the pimp himself, Mr. Cat Williams. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. You're far too kind. Thank you. All right, you can cut that. It's a pleasure, pleasure to be here in Liberty City. Ow! Liberty City, all party, all the time. Crazy Liberty City. Anything goes. Everything's crazy. Weed is illegal. Ain't that a motherfucker? They should have put that in the motherfucking brochure. <laughs> Feel free to come to Liberty City, but weed is illegal. What kind of cockamamie shit is this? Weed is illegal. How the fuck can you make a plant illegal? Weed is just a plant. It's just a plant. It just grows like that. And if you should happen to set it on fire, there are some effects. That's not the same as drugs. Drugs, you gotta do shit to it chemically. You gotta add baking soda, water, stir it up. I don't know the recipe. I'm just saying, there's some shit you gotta do to it. It's ridiculous. We ain't never hurt nobody. Aspirin is perfectly legal, but if you take 13 of them motherfuckers, it'll be your last headache. As long as you've been living, you ain't never heard of a motherfucker overdose on marijuana. You might have thought that nigga was dead. He ain't dead. He gonna wake up in 30 minutes, hungry enough to eat up everything in your house. That's the side of things. Hungry, happy, sleepy. That's it. Meanwhile, legal pills got side effects to it. Yeah, side effects. And the side effect is worse then the shit that is curing. And I'm thinking nobody's noticing this but me. I'm just saying, if I'm taking some shit for asthma, I don't need the side effect to be shortness of breath. That's what the fuck I came to you for. A lot of crazy shit in Liberty City. I've been all around this motherfucker. I ain't seen a dog or a cat yet. Hmm? Just thought about it, didn't you? Go ahead and think back. No, that wasn't a dog. I was probably a short person like myself, bending over to pick up something. You might have thought it was a dog. It's not a Rottweiler motherfucker, that's me. Drop some money. No dogs, no fucking cats. And I know you're thinking, well, how's that important? Because what's next? Short people? Where are they going to cut the line? Five, 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 six? Who the fuck? You don't know. You don't know. Just one day, whoosh, all the short people gone. It'd just be you tall-ass freaks left here to fend for yourselves. Don't ask me to pick up shit from down there. I can't do it, because I ain't fucking here. Me or the dogs or the cats. 
It's a crazy place. Everything's crazy about here. The fans in Liberty City are crazy. Let me just say something. If you six foot 99, don't walk up on me all aggressive trying to tell me how much you love me. You scaring the shit out of me. You, hey, son. Hey, son. Welcome to Liberty City, son. You, you funny as fuck, son. Wait a minute. Lady, I don't let motherfuckers just spit on me while they talking. That is ridiculous. You got a guy selling CDs? Motherfucker won't even tell you what's on the CD. He done wrote his name in crayon on the CD, just passing it to me. Passing it, pass it to me so fast, I'd already bought it before I even knew what was going on. I just walked up to him, just, hey, how you doing? What the fuck, the CD here's right? What the fuck just happened? Why everything gotta move so fast around here anyway? I want to slow down and relax, but you can't do that no way, because weed is illegal. Anyway, that's been all my motherfucking time. Thank you so much, Liberty City. I appreciate it. Thanks for the love. Cat Williams. Have a good night. Fuck, Nico. I don't want to do this. Together. As soon as I finish, I'm going home to blow some haze and beat up the coochie. Losing, Nico. If you weren't such a gracious winner, I might have got real angry. Look, that place ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Who do you think you are, asshole? Hello? You like poetry, Excuse Nico? Me. I fucking love it! Poetry is in the blood of an Irishman. Same as booze, religion, sodomy, and fighting. <laughs> I do like poetry. We have much in my country. Let me recite some to you. You do not mind that it is in my language. You must remain very silent. Is it a long... it is a long poem. All right. Um... Well, I guess I'd like to hear that. Recite away, Nico. I'm just fucking with you, Becky. I don't know no fucking poetry. If I did, I would not speak it to you in this country. All you got is rap music. <laughs> fucking America, you're right, but I'm a... Uh. We got more poets than bottles of whiskey, <laughs> and that's saying a fucking lot. Fucking Yates and shit. You know him? Cannot say that I do. He wrote about fighting and dreaming and fucking swans and all types of shit. On his grave, it says something like, like, don't get worked up about life and death because people ain't gonna care and they're gonna be, like, walking over your dead body anyway. Horsemen pass by. That's some deep fucking shit. Sure it is.
thing. We'll be there in no time. That's great. Good crack, man. Catch you around. I have bought us a present. You bought it or I did? Nico, I'm offended. I've got us an apartment in Algonquin. What did I say when you got here? Penthouse. Model on each arm. And you have paid for this place? It wasn't so long ago that your debts got you kidnapped by the Russian mob. That was a cold streak. Now I'm hot, cousin. Hotter than the models will be bedding. I can't lose! Roman, we have spoken about your gambling. Wait until you see the new place, NB. You will change your song. So what? I took on a little debt. No one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? You handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches working for guineas, working for niggers. Any asshole with a buck? A whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible. And remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down, friend? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Thing will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. Exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Inchin Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. Got this bomb. Oh, All right, let's see. It's the Lottie's and the Albanians that need them in the middle. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. So you put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of the crew. Then you blow the bomb. Make sure 
no one walks away. Right? So easy. I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system. And besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done. I want... Sure thing. We'll be there in no time. Thank you very much. Some ass or what? The Albanians know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it.
Hello there. Goodbye. Jerry, I hit the Ancelotti's crew real hard. Everyone got taken down. The rest of them should think the Albanian muscle is making a play. Yeah, I knew my brother wouldn't put his faith in a bum. They'll be at them elbows in no time. That's step one of the plan's complete. Come see me. We'll talk about step two. Take... Nobody knows this city better than me. Get your cheap ass Out away from my car, vibe, friend. <laughs> <laughs> 